Hey there! So today I'm going to show you guys a little experiment I did testing out growing borax crystals on 25 different items. This uh, video was actually inspired by a comment on my crystal growing experiment video. Um, somebody asked if crystals could be grown on rocks and so I tried growing borax crystals on rocks and it worked and I thought, hmm, I wonder how many other things you can grow borax crystals on and how well it would work. Um, so I just decided I'll make a video about it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Um, the 25 different items that I chose were a fabric piece, like a clump of fabric, a clump of paper, a clay pill bottle that I made in, for an art project when I was in art school, the printmaking linoleum. It's kind of like a rubbery, similar to like eraser rubber, a piece of cardboard, a hard bread heel, this was hard as a rock, shells and shell fragments collected from the beach, a metal bottle cap, a ball, a small ball of yarn, the tops of acorns collected from the yard, a plaster cactus form that I created for my kindness cacti project when I was in art school at George Mason, Pieces of tumbled broken glass that I use for my recycled glass jewelry that I make. Some broken wood sticks, like those popsicle sticks slash tongue depressor things. Some art sponges used for painting. A pipe cleaner ball form that I made. A cotton ball. Some rocks. A polished rock. A plastic cap from a contact lens case, little pills that I made out of polymer clay for my pill shoe project. Um, it was actually titled Self-Portrait as a Shoe and it was created for my first semester of art school at George Mason University, so a little shout out right there to my one of my favorite uh, sculptures that I've created. A succulent leaf that fell off of one of my succulent plants. Pom-poms, dried flowers from a floral arrangement, a metal embellishment, and some eggshells. So going into this experiment, I had some experience with growing borax crystals. In the past, I have grown them on pipe cleaners and rocks. So I knew that they would grow well on those two items, um, and I figured any porous water-soluble item they're probably going to grow well on. So the process for this project, I just labeled my 25 different cups that I would be submerging these items in. I then added the borax and the food coloring and the boiling water and mixed that solution until no more borax would dissolve and that I knew it was a super saturated solution. I then dropped in my item and I let this sit for three days and after three days I poured out the borax water solution down the sink and revealed my little experimentees. So a couple observations were that the rock, the cotton ball, the pipe cleaners, the plaster, the clay, the pom-pom, the shells, the cardboard, the rubber, the eggshell, the metal cap, the smooth rock, the pills, the glass, the metal embellishment, and the sponge all sunk, while the paper and fabric floated midway, and the plastic cap, acorn tops, flowers, yarn, succulent, and bread all floated at the top. And the bread did expand and kind of get mushy, but it didn't completely disintegrate. It actually held its form surprisingly well. So I revealed each item one by one, so I'll show you the pictures for each one. I started with the fabric clump, which was pretty cool when it came out. Um, it was solidified into, you know, it stiffened into a clump. Um, and so it was no longer flexible fabric, but it had a fair amount of crystal growth. Then I did the clay 
bottle and as I expected it had a good amount of crystal growth um, the top had the most and I thought it was really pretty um, if you like moved it in the light um, I think the crystals turned out really cool on that one next was the bread clump the bread heel um, it basically was a gelatinous blob with some crystals in it so that was kind of interesting um, as it dried it was kind of congealing um, and the crystals would be more visible um, but yeah I was I was surprised at how well this bread held up next was the polymer clay pills they had a good amount of crystal growth on them as I removed them the bottom piece where they were attached to the crystals growing on the cup um, were pulled off so on one side they have no crystals on them but they did um, originally but you can kind of see the the difference between the plain pill and then the part that has the crystals growing on it which I think actually makes it really cool next were the pipe cleaner clumps that I made and as expected they had a fair amount of crystal growth they were very full of shiny sparkly borax crystals after that was the paper clump um, so this had some crystals on it um, not as many as the fabric clump um, it did hold up part of it was ripped off because part of the crystals were attached to the crystals growing on the bottom of the cup and so when I pulled the paper clump out it ripped there but um, otherwise it held up pretty well then there were the pom-poms and these I thought looked really cool um, because the different colors of the pom-poms were still able to be seen even though I had the orange co food coloring in the borax crystal solution the glass pieces um, I kind of assumed that the crystals would not stay on these very well because they're smooth surfaces um, and sure enough the crystals did not um, there were crystals growing on them but as I tried to remove them the crystals all fell off so then there was the cotton ball and this one about like the pom-poms it had a lot of crystal growth and all around it um, so yeah it because it didn't have any color on it originally you could see a lot of that orange color um, another pretty successful interesting one was the plaster cactus form um, interestingly enough the crystals did not grow all around this only on like the top of the cactus part and then the top of the pot part um, so that like midsection didn't really get many crystals I also noticed that the crystals forming on here were larger each individual crystal was seemed larger than a lot of the ones growing on the other items like the pom-poms or the paper clump so I don't know what the reason for that is but I thought it was interesting we also had the cardboard piece so this one had very successful crystal growth one side had more crystal growth than the other and that was the side that was facing the top um, I think this looks like a sparkly graham cracker um, but otherwise I think I think it looks really cool I actually was surprised I was afraid it was going to just disintegrate in the water um, but it held its form and it had a lot of crystals on it so I thought it looked cool next we have the yarn ball so pretty much just like the pom-poms and the cotton balls and the pipe cleaners just a ball of crystals for the flowers they floated on top the whole time so I was afraid they weren't going to grow very many crystals but they actually grew quite a few crystals they were originally purple flowers but they looked much more orange because of the food coloring so that's an interesting effect um, but yeah it was fun to see how the crystals grew on this floral arrangement the shells all kind of clumped at the bottom and crystals did grow on them but as I tried to remove the shells a lot of the crystals came off um, it just kind of looked like a lump of crystal growth the plastic contact lens case cap floated at the top of the cup the whole time 
So no crystals grew on the top side that was just exposed to air the whole time, but crystals did grow around the rim, um, but then no crystals grew on the inside, which was interesting. The rocks turned out very well, about like the rocks I'd tried growing crystals on before. Um, they just get kind of that fuzzy crystal growth kind of look. They picked up a little bit of the food coloring. Um, as they dried, the crystals got more, much more opaque, so they really looked more white, and you didn't really see as much of that orange. Um, but they did have crystal growth all around them, so that was good to see. These sponges they had uniform crystal growth all around, um, and they looked just about the same as like the pipe cleaner forms. The crystals, individual crystals growing on them were smaller than the ones growing on the pipe cleaners and the yarn ball, um, and, and then obviously smaller than the ones growing on the plaster cactus. The printmaking linoleum rubber piece uh, did grow crystals on it, but they did not stay on at all, and in order to remove it I had to break uh, the crystals off of the sides and the bottom, and then they all just came right off. So um, while the crystals did grow on the item, they really didn't adhere to the rubbery surface at all. So the polished rock I was quite surprised with. Um, it actually did grow crystals on it. I kind of thought it wouldn't because that polished surface, I figured there's nothing porous there, so I didn't really think the crystals would be able to adhere to anything but they actually did. Um, when I pulled it out, the side that was on the bottom, the crystals came off of that, but on the top, the crystal stayed and it had a good amount of crystal growth, so I thought that was really cool. The wooden popsicle stick tongue depressor things had about as expected the amount of crystal growth, um, just even all over. The metal bottle cap did grow crystals on it, um, and you can see the crystals growing around it, um, but when I tried to remove it, they all came right off, so they didn't really stick to the surface very well. The succulent leaf uh, floated at the top of the solution the entire time, um, and it so it grew some crystals around the edges where it was floating on the top, but the, anything that was exposed to the air didn't grow any crystals, and the underneath side didn't really grow many crystals either, so. The acorn tops turned out really well. Um, for one thing, they dyed the crystal growing solution a very dark, like, brownish color. Um, I guess that's just residue coming off of the tops themselves, um, but the color of the water, well, the, the solution, was about as dark as the actual acorn tops themselves, so that was pretty cool. And then they also had a fair amount of crystal growth, um, and they had bigger clumps of crystals than some of the other items, so that was pretty cool. And the eggshells, I had seen people growing crystals, borax crystals on eggshells, so I kind of knew what this would turn out to look like, and it pretty much turned out as expected. Um, crystals grew around all of the eggshells. They seem to grow better on the inside of the eggshell than on the outside. Um, and then also on that bottom part where the eggshell was resting on the ground, not as many crystals grew. But overall, a lot of crystal growth, very shiny eggshell. And finally, the metal embellishment. I was actually very surprised at how much crystal growth this metal embellishment had. Um, I didn't think that any metal would really collect any crystal growth, and I definitely didn't think it would retain crystal growth like after being removed from the water, um, but it did, especially on the inside, like the indented part. That had a lot of crystals growing on it, and they all stayed in there, so that was pretty cool to see. So yeah, that's the experiment of growing borax crystals on 25 different items. Um, one thing I also noticed was that as the crystals dried, they became much more opaque and white, and um, a lot of them kind of lost that orangey color, um, so that was interesting. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and that maybe you learned something, 
Um, if you guys have any crystal growing experiments that you would like to share with me, feel free to let me know in the comments. And also, if you would like another video similar to this, let me know. But thank you for inspiring me to do this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching!